What the fuck is up, everybody? This is the Communication Breakdown uh, Weekend in the Woods edition. We're out here in Angeles Oaks, California with my man Rock from Just Break. Um, we've been out here for the past day and a half or so, getting to know each other, seshing, you know, having a really good time. So I'm set up here um, to do a podcast, talk to interesting people that are here, uh, talents and creative minds alike, you know. So how you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing great, man. I'm, I'm feeling blessed, you know, Good. to be uh, around great people. You know what I mean? Just, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Great energy out here. I feel. And so now, uh, how did you hear about the event? Um, Dave Mateo, um, he lives in Las Vegas. So, mm -hmm. and, you know, I've worked with him and stuff like that. And I've known about this camp since they've thrown it in a, was it a national Kendama retreat? Yeah. So I've known yeah. about it and then okay. he invited me about um, this year and stuff. So that's awesome, how I kind of got introduced to it. Yeah. Yeah. And you got, you got your setup. He's got a camera here. You can't see it, but he's got the setup, man. He's been taking the most awesome fucking pictures so far. <laughs> and uh, I believe now David mentioned that he, he kind of like, well, obviously he wanted you out here because you know, you're the homie, but you're talented with that thing. Oh, right. Yeah, appreciate he, it. <laughs> we wanted you to be here to like kind of document you know, did the whole the thing pictures yeah, yeah. of the event and so he's out here doing that um plays kendama too and you also break dance yep correctly yep, that's okay. right um now can you dive into it like a little bit further on like i know break dancing is a very like why is a broad statement uh -huh. you know i know there's a lot of like sub um genres of, of that kind of like dance but tell right. me tell me what like you do tell me what uh you know form of dance you're most interested in and like how how you try to like promote that um just without being at like an event right right yeah. right um well first of all what i do is b-boying you know okay. what i mean what what the majority of the population that doesn't know about it is they call it break dancing you know what i mean okay. but the proper term would be b-boying and that is the first dance of hip-hop you know okay. so you got breaking which is b-boying you got graffiti, you got DJing, and then you got the MCing. So that's okay. what I specialize on. So it's all like. encompassed. It's in all, in, in, yeah, in, in, yeah, yeah, that, okay. well, that's hip hop. You know what I mean? That's the, the foundation of hip hop. Right, but it's right. also like grown out into different sections of the type of dance, type of MCing, type of DJing okay. and all that, yeah. And now you see that, what, what kind of competition setup that we got going on here? Like, is it somewhat similar? Like if you're doing like a break dancing competition, or like a b-boy competition, what kind of like uh, style of, com competition does that look like for I like dancing i think the similarity with it would be the closest to it is the seven is spike okay um because it's a competitive va base you know what i mean you're actually like going up against someone without knowing what they're going to be throwing down you okay. know what i mean so it's not like you know what they're doing and you know what you're doing so you're actually just freestyling out there that's the closest thing that okay. i would say yeah for sure and so like I i've heard if you can confirm like seven is spike is actually like derived from like yes. b-boy culture is like seven to smoke right? seven to smoke yeah yeah okay. so you got like basically you know it's just round by round you know you right. got your you the first one to get the seven rounds in the battle wins so okay. it's essentially the same thing with uh seven to spike we just okay. translated it to that uh and you, that you have a king or like a, a, yep. a position holder and you have the six challengers mm -hmm. behind and you just okay man i'm about to come out and do that i know we got a pretty uh big scene in arizona just okay because like we have so many indoor places because it's so damn hot all the time. So like <laughs> indoor stuff is really where it's at. Um, and yeah, I know a couple of people, uh, Ghost Fam Entertainment out in Arizona. Okay. Like, those are pretty much like the only people I know that are kind of like in the, uh, in the you know, b-boy community. But they have like different, they have all kinds of people under, under them. They have like b-boys and they have like people who can tut real well. Yeah, yeah. And like they have like some like, 14 year old black kid dude was like crumping the hardest I've ever seen anyone crump my whole <laughs> fucking life at one of these like competitions they held at the uh, the vape shop. Of right, all right. Places. Well, you know, yeah. you know, the dancing scene is just it's uh, transgressing to a position where it's meshing now with with all kinds of styles. You know, okay. what I mean, from from crump to pop in to lock in to freestyle. Okay. So they've they've definitely meshed the two together. Not the two together, but like a lot of genres of hip-hop okay. you know it's just like music you know what i mean music start you know hip-hop music started with rap and then you just kind of 
you know, fluctuated to all kinds of different types right, of music. Right, right, right. And so, like, in the, in the community, in the dance community, is there, like, any kind of rival between, like, different types of dancers? Or is there, like, is this, like, the first time that, you know, crumping and b-boy and whatever are meshing? Or has it always been kind of, like, separated and, like... It's there's the there's dance. a separation when it turn when it we come to certain events. You know what I mean? Okay. You, you're gonna have crump events, you're gonna have popping events, b gotcha. boying events, and then you're gonna have an all styles event where some people just know everything. So you literally know. all styles. All styles, yeah. You there's can come this, in and do whatever you want. Exactly. There's events that's out there nice. that's called all styles out there. You know what I mean? If you're if you're just completed with everything with mm-hmm. your training, and that that gives you a big heads up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. And so like how for about how long have you been like taking uh, like dancing seriously? 20 since 94 okay so you know well over 22 years okay yeah. that's what's up man yeah yeah so i've been Longevity in the game for, is key. for sure for sure yeah and I, I hear i personally haven't like i couldn't vouch for you but dave vouches for you oh, man. hard as fuck <laughs> he's like dude much love dave mateo <laughs> to check this guy i'm like no i'm gonna man yeah there's a whole bunch of talent here today and so like this is literally what it's for i want to just you know come, have people come in here um, you know, five, ten minutes, just kind of tell us who they are and what they're about. For sure, for you know, sure. And uh, just kind of like to showcase the different types of personalities and people that Kendama can bring. Um, but yeah, and, and it's all good too. Like, this is how you kind of figure out, you know, not, I won't say like figure out a collab, but like, I just like getting to know stuff about people that like, you're more reserved about, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, have you, you haven't announced to anybody that you're like, the man, right? No, no, no. Exactly. No. <laughs> so, like, sometimes it takes this to, right, uh, to right, bring right. that out of people. You know, it's an humble, it's a humble characteristic, and it's respected. But it's like, no, I want you to <laughs> brag to me. Like, I'm trying to figure out the interesting stuff, man. Um, so, yeah, awesome photographer. Um, you know, kills it on the dance floor. Any other hobbies other than kendama that you're like kind of into that man um, people might not know about? I just. You know, I like visuals. I'm a big thing with visuals, you okay. know. So, um, besides photography, man, I like making clothes, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like refurbishing clothes, you know what I mean? Because I believe in go. recycling and stuff like that. Um, I just like to be around artists, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Of all, all kinds, you know what I mean? Because there's artists everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, you might not consider a, a, a freeway a piece of art, but right. the engineer who's who's done that and made that, they're artists, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I appreciate anything that's... that's involved with with anything that's like transgressing to the next level of artistry you know what i mean that's what a good way to be man yeah for sure it 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 lets your artistry fully bloom too because Mm. you're not really having anything hold you back no if you love all artistry of other people and you allow yourself to like focus on people other than your own that's like usually a roadblock for a lot of people they can't stop focusing Mm -hmm. on like themselves right and uh yeah man so it's good to spread the love dude what comes around you know you give what you you get what you give. That's the truth. Bro, yeah. I have never, I feel like I've been proven, or like I've been shown by the universe how fucking true that is, man. Because the moment I started just kind of strictly putting out good vibes, is like my life just kind of like followed suit. Right, you right, know? right. I mean, that is the, I'm a big believer that that's the biggest secret in life, man. It's, it's giving, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's, it ascends everything, man. I mean, you I feel like shit, you're not getting anything, you just close your eyes and, you know, you pray for somebody that's already giving something to someone, you there know what I mean? Go, and then you're blessed. So I think that's a big thing, you know, and that comes yep. with sharing with people, you know what I mean? Yep. And and giving without the expectation yes. of getting something because mm-hmm. that's not giving. No, no, that's no. That's b- like bartering, you know? Exactly. Like, and, yeah. and people get it twisted sometimes too. It's just like, no, I do all these good things for people. It's like, yeah. okay, but why are you telling me? Like, what are you expecting back? Like, you should be doing good for people. Yeah. And regardless like, even at that because it will come back exactly but you can't be expecting it because then like all these hidden like uh wonders of your own little world will just fly past your head when you're looking for something big to happen because you've been doing so good for people yes yes yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a mindset that'll drive me crazy a little bit I, i've been there personally and mm-hmm. like i don't know man it's just very strange i'm glad i, I learned to give without you're like, hey, man, I'm going to give you a fucking Pop-Tart. Like, make sure you get me back. <laughs> like, that doesn't happen to me anymore, man. Unless Just, it's like... That's counting now. You know what I mean? Counting right, exactly. Right, yeah, 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 Maybe yeah. how much st- st- shit I did for you, that will never come out yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, dude, awesome. Thank you so much for sitting down with yeah, me. Yeah, for and, sure, uh, for sure, man. Much love here. to your, uh, you know, whatever you're doing with, with this podcast and everything you're doing with Kandama. Man, it's it's a blessing, man. Appreciate and, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right back at you, dude. Uh, you know, appreciate it. Like you said, all avenues of art, 
I'm all about it. Yeah. Love it all. I support it all. So tell us where we can find you and your work okay. um, on across the board. If you want to like Instagram, you know, YouTube, whatever you have. Okay. Um, the best thing to, uh, to do is to follow me on my Instagram because that kind of sets the tone of where my, my other platform is at. You know what I right. mean? So, uh, and my Instagram tag is uh, just break life. Just break life. Yep. With, uh, no a common spelling no this is no just, lyfe or anything no 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 just okay. just the right spelling just break life and um you know my website is attached there and okay. um once you go there uh it has everything that i do because everything is attached to my other other platforms that okay. i do yeah so yeah so you follow that's instagram like the best. And you click on the, the link, I'm sure, in the bio. Right, right. And you get the full spectrum of what he's got to offer. Right, right. So, again, man, thank you so much Appreciate for sitting it, down, man. bro. Thank I'm you, gonna, thank you for having me. I'm going to let you go. This 7 of Spike downstairs is getting fucking crazy. It's going crazy. crazy. I can, can hear, hear it. it. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to go check that out. I'm going to grab another guest sooner than later, and we'll, uh, we'll be back. All right. See y'all. Peace.